Hey everyone, just before the video starts, I want to quickly apologise for the poor mic quality today. Unfortunately, my microphone has died on me, so I'm having to use this one as backup and it's not quite as good. So I'm going to be saving up for a new mic and if you want to help me do that, you can check out my Patreon and support me there. But of course, there's no pressure to do that. So, But any donations, of course, would be very much appreciated. Uh, but I'll let you guys get on with the video, so sorry again for the poor mic quality. Hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. Take care. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Blender modeling tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to make a simple TV or monitor, so let's get straight into it. First thing I'm going to do is press Shift and then A on the keyboard, and under Mesh I'm going to select Circle. Then I'm going to press S and X to scale on the X axis, and I'll press S and Y to scale on the Y, and I'll just press S to scale the whole thing down, S and X again, and about there should do nicely for now. Then I'm going to press tab and enter edit mode, and I'm going to press A on the keyboard to select everything. If you don't see these little dots, it's because you're not in vertically select mode, so to switch to that, just press 1 on the keyboard, or click this button here. And then all I'm going to do is press E and then Z, and I can extrude this up like this. I'll bring it to around there, should do nicely. Then I'm going to press E again, and then I'm going to press S, and then shift Z, so I'm scaling only on the X and Y axis. And I'll bring that in like that. Now I'll press G and then Y. And I'll bring it round to around there. I'll then press E and then Z to bring this up. S and then shift Z again and I'll scale it in like that. I'll press E and Z and I'm going to bring this up like this. To around there should do nicely. Now for those vertices selected, I'll click on face and I'll select grid fill. And that should join those up nicely. I'll take it down to 6. Now that looks a little bit more even. Press tab and I'll enter object mode. Then I'm going to right click and shade smooth and make sure if you haven't already to save it so just press ctrl and then s and you can choose a place to save it i'm just going to call mine tv and i'll press save blender file now under object data properties with this object still selected i'm going to come down and turn on this auto smooth and that's looking a lot nicer finally i'll press tab back into edit mode and i'll press alt and then left click here to select all these verses here and i'm going to come down to face and i'll select Grid fill. I'm going to decrease it to 6 so it's nice and even like that. Tab to enter object mode again. Still in edit mode here. I'm going to select this very top vertice here, right in the center. I'll press Shift S and press cursor to select it. Then I'll press Tab back into object mode and I'll press Shift A, Mesh Cube. I'll then press GZ1 and now that will bring that up exactly to that cursor. Then I'm going to press S and Y to scale on the Y axis. And I'm just going to try and morph this into position. This is going to be the very back of the TV. So I'll press S and Y again. And I'll press G and Y. Kind of move that into position there. Press Tab and then enter Edit Mode. And I'll press A to select everything. I'll press 3 on the keyboard to enter Face Select Mode. I'll select this face. And I'll press G and Y. Bring that in a wee bit. And I'll do the same here. I'll select this back face. Press G and then Y. Bring that in a wee bit. Select this front face again and I'm just going to go ahead I'll press A to select everything and now I'll press S and then X and that will scale on the X axis probably to around there should do nicely and I'll select this front face here and I'll press S and then X and I'll scale that out like this and now I'm going to map out roughly how wide I want my TV to be I think that's going to be a little too wide so I'll press S and X bring that down and I'll press S and Z and now I'll bring it up here on the Z axis and I'll maybe make it a bit wider so press S and X, and I'll also press S and X here as well. Now I'll select this front face here, and I'll press E, and then Y, scale it out on the, or to extrude it out on the Y axis, and I don't want to give it too much thickness, I'll maybe give it around that, that should do nicely. I'll then press I to inset, and I'll bring it around to around there, and I'll press E, and then Y, and I'll bring it in a wee bit to there. And now we have our screen. Yeah, that's his model, the super simple TV. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some very quick materials. So I'll come up here to the top left hand corner. I'm going to drag this out here by pressing left click. And I'm going to change this to shader editor. Press N on the keyboard to get rid of that menu. I'm going to go ahead and come down here and press plus U. It's going to be a reflective plastic. So what I'm going to do is maybe turn my roughness down to around 0.2. And I'll change my base color a much darker color. I'm going to make sure I'm in a view where I can actually see what I'm working with. 
So I'll switch this view here, and now you can kind of see the material that we've got. So that's looking pretty good. I can also change the specular value to around maybe 0.3. And I'm going to go ahead and left click this one here, and then shift left click this object, control L, and press link materials. Now both of them will have this material. Now for the screen, I'm going to come back to my material properties here, and I'm going to click this plus icon here. And I'll click plus new, then I'll press tab into edit mode with the screen selected, still in face select mode, which is free on the keyboard, select this front face here, which is our screen, click on this material one and press assign, I'm going to call this material glass, just for organisation, and I'll call this main material. Then for my glass, I'm going to change my transmission value to 1, press tab into object mode, and I'll change my roughness value down to 0. Then I'm going to change to render preview like this, press shift A, come down to light, and I'll choose sun. Let's get a basic light source in, press R and then X to rotate on the X axis, and I'll press R and then Y, rotate on the Y, G and Y just so I can see it. Now as you can see, you can only see it quite faintly, but if this was a much brighter scene, it would be more clear, is you can kind of see the inside of the TV like that. And usually on a TV, it would be quite flat when you're looking through the screen with no video on it. So I'll come back into my viewport shading, left click this, press tab into edit mode, and I'm going to left click this button here, which will toggle x-ray. Now what I'm going to do is in edge select mode, which is two on the keyboard, I'm going to press alt left click here on this edge loop. And I'm just going to go ahead and press F to fill. Now when I press tab, back into object mode, turn off my x-ray, and enter render preview again, my uh, screen is just going into a flat surface like that. So it looks a little bit more nice. If I come up to my render properties here and switch to EV, it's not really going to work as a window. And that's because we need to make sure a few settings are on. First of all, make sure your screen space for reflections are turned on and have this refraction value turned on and keep these settings the same as mine. Then under material properties again, I'm going to drag this out so I can see it better. In my glass material, I'm going to come down to the bottom. I'm going to turn on screen space refraction. And now you can see that glass can now work in how, more like how it should. One thing to keep in mind is glass in EV will never look as good as it does in cycle. So just keep that in mind. But at least we can get a nicer result when turning these settings on. The final thing I'm going to do here is left click this screen here. Then I'm going to hold down shift and left click this one here. And now I'm going to paint these together by pressing control P and then left click object. Now when I select this face here and press G, my screen will move along with it, which will make it a lot easier for moving this object around. But yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you to be notified when I make videos in the future. Thank you all again, and I'll see you in the next video.